All right, we have arrived. We're in our Airbnb right on Collins Avenue, which is the adjacent street, I believe, of Ocean Drive. I've stayed here before, but we're on the north side, the nicest you know, side. You see how nice, filthy windows? Right there is the ocean. You can see it is kind of green. You're right. Looks nice. We're gonna have to walk there. It's like a 10 second walk. This is Collins Avenue. Ocean Drive is that way. There's Shannon. on cliff to wake up we're gonna go to the everglades to check out gator park we're gonna see some crocodiles crocodiles are as old as dinosaurs so we're actually seeing dinosaurs just like sharks and if you look at a crocodile it looks like a dinosaur so i'm excited i'm pumped that's how we're starting that day went to a Pats game, the Miami Miracle, and Cliff st still said he wanted to move here. And he did it. He's not a snowbird like me and Shannon. As he just said. I was born here. That's right, Shannon was born here. She had classes, she, she said. As quick as possible. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, when you have the humidity down here in the summer, you're like, I lived here for two months, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, two months in during the summer, and I was like, I'm out of here. I'm surprised you're still alive. All right. I hate the humidity. tickets you go on the airboats take it to the Everglades through the marsh see some crocs hopefully now is that really chicken or gator give you earplugs which is key. The no fan's right behind me. Fast, fast, do not stand up. Okay. That's all you guys got earplugs, right? Yeah. So you won't need them right away. Okay. Five minutes, I'll be going slow down that canal for wildlife. I'm gonna warn you my jokes are pretty bad.
rest part of this tour, just looking around for whatever wildlife we can find. Again, today's gonna be a rough one for us, so you guys have your cameras out and just be ready to see what we can see. Beautiful. I told you, he was on a standoff with me. He's like, do something. He likes the shirt. <laughs> oh, he don't like me. How you doing, buddy? Are you dying for me to fall in? <laughs> He's like, please, and I'll have him have Mike fall over right now. Well, you know, I don't have an exact temperature, but realize that we just got our cool front. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right next to So this water is probably still warm. I'd probably say maybe around 75. <laughs> That. Uh, but they they need so to stay around 85 degrees to digest food in their stomachs. Uh, okay. <laughs> These alligators are sitting right here on the left and also on the right. They're probably about 15 to 20 years old. Those are just rough guesses. So they don't have an exact number, but definitely dogs. They do got some growing to do. So we were wondering if we we're gonna see any, and there's one. Over here in the north side. Wait. Bow. Huh? Bow. The bow of the boat. Thank yeah, you. That's the bow. Bow. And there's one over here. Yeah, but I ain't in riding boats. All the, the, just a hey, you from the one so you get them. You got one at the bow. What do you call the left side? I don't know. Probably port side. I'm not, I don't know. Neither starboard. Neither do I. <laughs> Neither. We were wondering if we are going to see any and now the alligators are surrounding the boat and dying for us to fall in. Yes, they're going to Oh, there we go. They're surrounding the boat like a pack of wolves. They're like, please fall in. You're not going to have two males. See ya, buddy. He's so mad he didn't get to eat anybody. was friggin' amazing. And now we're going into a little arena they have here that they put together and they show at the end. I think it costs 111 between three people. It's worth every penny. That's what I was yeah. Is that was that over there? Or is that a See, I, I thought I thought it was a I thought it was a statue until um I seen his eyes move. How much of a prop bet would you make if you proposed to me? I'll bet you this much, Mike, for you to jump over that fence. But they're all small. Except for this one. Look at this one. That one's a giant. He's a teenager. This one could actually do some damage. That's a teenager. Even though he's, he's too tired and he's like, leave me. I wonder if they're all... The hell alone. Ladies. What up, gangsters? We need to get for a grub. Thinking the same. <laughs> Again, if you live in Florida and you have a lake in your backyard, this is in your neighborhood. You see them every day, it's no big deal. You start to name them. You have a barbecue, they smell it too. They pull up, hey, Susie's here. <laughs> you feel like you've helped a neighbor, but actually you just made a very lazy animal extremely dangerous. So are you guys trying to state that the kids that were in there were a pain in the ass? Oh, but lovely kids. Their parents don't know what to do. Did you say you love the kids? So <laughs> there were such lovely kids. Oh, I thought you were all right. I thought you were break, breaking balls. It all stems from your social environment. That was how they were raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>